question now is who will replace Dennis Gabrzak? News 4's Alicia Rodriguez picks up this part of our team coverage in the newsroom. Good afternoon. Well, Teresa, it is up to the governor to decide when an election will be held to replace Gabrzak. He has two options, hold a special election to fill the seat or wait until the November general election. The governor isn't expected to make that decision for now. another 10 because days. A special election would be a costly option and voter turnout wouldn't be as high as in a general election. But waiting until November would leave Gabrzak's district without representation in Albany for most of the year. Jeremy Zellner, the chairman of the Erie County Democratic Committee, was one of the first to call for Gabrzak's resignation. He told us today he is already fielding calls from potential candidates. There's plenty of great elected officials that represent both of the towns. There's uh, former elected officials. Um, I don't think we'll have a hard time finding a candidate that could represent the values of the people in that district. Gabrzak is a Democrat, but the seat is open to candidates from all political parties. If it is filled in a special election, keep in mind the new assemblyman would have to run again in November to keep that seat. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alicia Rodriguez, News 4 at noon.